Hey guys, it's Jessie V. So today we're gonna be looking at the creepiest things that pets have done. Which, um, this video is not good if you own a pet because it might freak you out. You might look at your pet differently after this video. All thanks to me. I'm sorry. You guys probably know this by now, but I have two bulldogs. One is named Winnie and one is named Dozer, so um, hopefully none of these stories are about bulldogs, okay? I haven't read any of these before, so you'll be seeing my genuine reaction. So uh, yeah, if you don't want to be scared of your pet after this video, maybe uh, don't watch this. I don't know. I feel like I'm always saying don't watch this video. It's bad. Okay, here we go. My Cocker Spaniel has a particular snore that sounds like a little demon child laughing. In the middle of the night, I hear a <laughs> at the foot of my bed and my eyes just fly open. That would be really scary. Especially because my dog Winnie sleeps on my bed at night and she has a really loud snore. If she sounded like a demon when she snored, I don't think I would ever sleep. Like, ever. I'm lying in bed reading with my dog at night. My bedroom door is open and my room is the only room in the house with the lights on. It's completely silent. I took a quick glance at my dog. My dog is staring out the door into pure darkness. I see him slowly tilting his head to the side, which he only does when he sees or hears something that seems bizarre. He growls for a good minute and then he notices me staring at him and wags his tail. I've actually had this happen to me before. I stay up really late, like until like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. every single day. It's really bad. So my room is the only room with the lights on, so sometimes Winnie stares down my dark hallway and starts to growl, and that just freaks me out. I have to get up out of my bed and close my bedroom door because I'm like, I do not want to see down that hallway, okay? Especially after seeing that movie. What's that movie called? Where that creepy girl creature can only walk around in the darkness? What is that called? Lights out? I think that's what it was called. So if my lights are on, I'm fine. My bearded dragon does this thing where she bulges her eyes out. It's normal for them to do when they are shedding, but it looks like she's possessed every time she does it. I have never seen this happen. Is there a picture of this? I'm gonna look this up. Bearded dragon bulging eyes. Do I want to look this up? I feel like maybe I don't. Oh, that's not bad. This story made it seem like it was so scary. That looks fine. Like, what's wrong with that? I think bearded dragons are so cute. I was home alone and trying out my webcam for the first time. My dog, Petey, immediately ran down the hall behind me, barking and growling. At this point, I was using the face detection thing on the webcam, where it will put a paper bag over your head on the screen. Petey came back and sat by my feet, and at that moment, my webcam detected a face over my shoulder, and in the screen was a floating paper bag that disappeared after a few seconds. That is so creepy and it actually reminds me of sometimes when I'm on Snapchat and I'm using like the filter thing and sometimes it'll detect a face like in my room somewhere and like the dog ears will go over the like face that's not actually there. It's so scary. I took my dog with me to feed my neighbor's cats and she went into a closet and just stood in the corner staring up. Later I found out that my neighbor's pets do the same thing. That's actually really creepy. That's like when my dog Winnie sometimes stares at this corner in my TV room room and she just barks at the corner and uh, I don't know why she does that but it's it's weird. Sometimes when dogs or cats or any sort of pet stare at a certain place for a long period of time I think there's definitely a ghost there or something. Oh this is like another example. My husband was home alone late one night. He decided to watch the movie Darkness Falls. In this movie a ghostly figure often appears near the ceiling. While watching the movie he noticed his two dogs staring completely unmoving at a spot on the ceiling behind his head. He immediately got up and started frantically turning on all the lights. Yeah, that's that's pretty scary. When I was 12 years old, my family got our first dog. At the time, I slept upstairs and our dog slept with me in my room. That's like what Winnie does with me. A couple years later, when my parents had another child, they moved me into the basement room. That is creepy. I would never live in the basement. Our dog refused to go down there at all. When I forced him into my room, he would cry and whine right next to the door until I let him out. A couple of years later, we got another dog. I decided that I would have him sleep with me since our older dog refused to. But the same thing happened with him. From the first day, he hated being in my basement room and when forced in there, would cry and claw at my door to be let out. That's really creepy. Like, guys, dogs can sense things, okay? There was a murder that had occurred at a house in our quiet neighborhood. One day, about a month after it happened, I was running with my dog around the neighborhood. She was running full speed ahead when all of a sudden she turned sharply to the side and just stopped in front of this house. She stood there and just stared at it. I literally had to drag her away. Freaked me right out. That is really creepy. This next story is called The Wall. One time I walked in on my dog intently staring at the wall, swaying. That's, that's creepy. Maybe it was like sleeping but standing up. the 
heck is that? I'm literally home alone right now. The heck? There's literally nothing there. I can't find anything. Okay, I think I'm gonna end the video here because I'm actually like freaked out now. Like, why does this always happen when I'm doing a creepy video? Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed the stories that I did tell. I'm sorry this video wasn't too long because what the heck just happened? But yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and until next time, <laughs> bye.